a pleasure to meet y'all at last. And I've come back on why is that? Because, as it turns out, we're just days away from the date that I originally planned to have this series end. And I am going to have as many more episodes as I can uploaded by that particular date. And so, there's a big handful of questions out there that I'm going to be answering. And with that being said, I am ready to get this going. For today's question, we got ourselves another YouTube commenter. And there's been plenty of those recently, within the last 15 hours. This commenter asked me, why is that you suffer from psoriasis on the top of your head? I know, I know, it's pretty darn embarrassing when you look at it that way. The hereditary form of psoriasis, which has itself a more complex name that of which many of you probably won't understand at the moment, is something that I do have and I have been suffering from it since I was around 10th grade. Around the age of 16 was where it started for me. And it kept getting worse and worse and worse to the point of which that before I would even reach age 20, I'd have a spot that's about this large. But lately I have actually been doing what I can to pretty much just sabotage the baldness growth with clobeta sulfopryonate, in which I explained in another video that I uploaded pretty much in around July, in which I ended up shaving my hair down completely, shaved my head down completely, just so I can just sabotage the growth of the psoriasis balding. And this way it would make it easier for the clobeta sulfopryonate to absorb into the scalp. And that of which it has been helping me for quite some time, based on how many doses I've taken. And I've still got a little more remaining, and I am going to, in fact, keep using this until I just regain hair growth from that particular area. Psoriasis is a pretty nasty condition in most ways, but it does form some very bad scaly rashes, and it can actually bald out certain parts of your body, to the point in which there's no longer any hair growth. And this, of course, is not always going to be the case for me. Because so far, this is pretty much about it. It hasn't really happened anywhere else, in the armpits, or anywhere else that has a lot of hair in it. Just the top of the head. To be specific, however, though, I have actually had a few family members of mine suffer from the same exact condition. And that's how I found out that it was, in fact, hereditary, of which that the condition got transferred to my system and now I've been suffering from it for the last three years about and this is probably its peak condition right about now to the point at which that it had its maximum power just erasing any hair follicles that are on that particular area but with the clobeta sulfoprionate I have been able to restore hair growth and the hair follicles are now in working condition. But of course, it's not always just going to be about delaying the inevitable that just happens to come forth every so often. Because I do check that area with a mirror. I look into a mirror and then I have another mirror pointed towards my head here. And I just see that it's still there. Of which I think to myself that the Colobeta Sol might not be working too well or it's just not really taking on full effect. Or at least, I probably didn't have it absorbed too well, because, well, now, my hair is thrown back to the point in which it could blockade the clobetasol from entering the scalp again. But once again, I am going to keep on doing this until... I don't know exactly when I plan to stop using clobetasol propionate as a way to restore hair growth and to prevent psoriasis's worst effects. Side effects of any sorts that psoriasis can have on me would include more scaly rashes and more itching sensation, sometimes a little burning or freezing sensation, that of which it could happen at any given time, though the worst I probably have discovered was 
probably mostly itching on the top of the head. And I know for a, a fact that balding is mostly just something that people would have before the age of 40 even. But of course, people who have it before the age of 20 is probably very uncommon at this point. And I just happen to be one of those that just suffers from that sort of condition. And the psoriasis happens to be the main culprit behind such balding like this. And I know for a fact that many have embarrassed me over it. And I have actually explained it to them how psoriasis is usually a hereditary condition and that others can get it. I even explained to them that my uncle had it at one point before he died. And I have more than enough proof to, as to how psoriasis can be a pretty common condition around those, except the balding part, which the scaly rashes of psoriasis happen to be the most common trait of this condition, but it's balding overall that happens to be a not so common condition. One more thing about it though, is that of course there were all those times in which I did end up having this part of my head showed up on camera. And now you pretty much get the picture that psoriasis is the main big culprit about it. And I also will have links to psoriasis in the description below. So this way you can find out for yourself how psoriasis can affect many throughout the world and how it has balding, rashes, any of the symptoms that psoriasis can give you. It will most likely hand to you but before the age of 20. Just like what happened to me really, except there's just no telling how it could happen to you. Anybody else who suffers from this condition in any ways. But, of course, here's a pretty good answer to the question. I suffer from psoriasis on the top of my head because one, it's a hereditary condition, so I had it passed on from someone else in my family's genes. And two, is that it just happens. There's just no other way to explain it. There's no voluntary part to it. There's no other rational explanation as to how psoriasis can form on someone's head or anywhere else on the body. But anyhow, I feel like that's pretty much it for that subject. I feel that's pretty much it for that subject, but there's going to be more subjects and a lot of answers to questions that I am going to be pulling through before the end of November. So make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side if you want to see more.